I was on the Twitter and somebody said to me, why are modern traffic lights no longer the same? Why do they all look different? So, let's find out. As always with these things, the answer usually lies in a trip back towards the 1920s. Even though traffic lights in this country go back a lot further than that, our story sort of starts just around the time the Second World War was about to happen. Three aspect signal heads of then are nothing new. Until the 1960s, they used to be painted in three colours. They were painted black, white and then black again to give you extra visibility of the signal head. In 1964, the regulations changed. That introduced what we call the War Boys Report and the first of the modern traffic signs regulations and general directions. This is where we start to get to the point where traffic lights became uniform. You're probably asking who really cares? I mean, it's a traffic light. It goes from red to amber to green and back again. But that's not the point. The point is, this new design by David Meller, not that one, enabled traffic authorities to have a cheaply produced mass production traffic light for the first time. This meant that junctions across the country could be upgraded relatively cheaply and quickly for the first time as well. Which was important, given how traffic numbers were absolutely ballooning in the late 1960s. So yes, I know what you're thinking. You're going to say, if they were so good, why do we not use them anymore? Well, that's the thing. Despite being a fantastic piece of design, the flaws became apparent very quickly. Firstly, they were a single piece unit, which meant if you broke one, you had to replace the entire thing. Secondly, they were all powered by halogen lights. And thirdly, they don't age very well. This one was installed in 1990. It's really hard to do a history and almost state the case for these magnificent old designs when they don't even work half the time. But that's maintenance for you. However, the Mellor head struggled to begin with. For a kickoff, it wasn't ready for the introduction of the Pelican Crossing, and many places just didn't have the heads ready for that, which meant we had to rush around and repurpose existing equipment to match the new regulations. Many local authorities had spent a fortune prior to 1965 on the old-style equipment. In fact, in some cities like Liverpool, the old-style traffic signals could still be seen on major junctions well into the late 1980s and early 1990s. The introduction of modular signal heads did not mean that David Mellor's design was fully phased out. However, it did mean that the old one-piece design was no longer being manufactured. And the saddest irony of that is, is that at the David Mellor Design Museum in Derbyshire, the signal used to commemorate his efforts is actually a modern peak elite. And with that thought, I'll see you next time.